Guys, there are things happening. And when things happen, things happen. The battle for Azeroth alpha files are coming out on not just MMO champion, but Wowhead as well. And that's very exciting. So let's let us look at some of this stuff. Yes! Ugh! Blizzard. Let's talk about something, guys. Look at me for one second. Just look at me. I got me a bald head and a big ass beard. I look just like Ragnar Lothbrook straight out of Vikings, as you guys like to remind me of quite often. Okay. Now, that said, I like me some big ass snowy mountains. This is Kol Taras, big ass snowy mountains. I love it. Zone looks great from what we're seeing so far. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. It looks like Cthulhu has risen up from the depths and is trying to stick his, uh, his, uh... <laughs> Dude, I don't know what the fuck is going on right here, but it looks like Cthulhu is jacking off on this island. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next picture. We got these map changes for Arathi Highlands. As you guys know, we are getting the war fronts in uh, in Battle for Azeroth. And I don't know if this is going to be a change to Arathi Highlands in the open world, or if this is just the war fronts scenario. Most likely it's just the scenario, but you can see that uh, compared to here and here, the two maps are different. So maybe this one like this map right here is the arathi highlands open world map but when you're in the warfronts scenario this is the scenario map not sure i guess we will find out but cool got a tall dazar dope we got a tall dazar dope we got oh snowy mountains oh yes yeah it looks like these pictures right here are the islands if you uh, remember they have island expeditions that's a new feature in battle for azeroth and you have these islands where you land and you fight other players or NPCs for the island's objective. I think that's pretty cool. Um, oh! Snowy Mountains. Yes. Anyway. Uh, this one is very interesting. Uh, it's a goblin island. So maybe we're going to go back to Kazan. We have not seen Kazan since Cataclysm. So that's pretty cool. Next, we step into the troll stuff. I admit I am not the biggest fan of troll stuff. Uh, but... You know what? I think Xandalar looks pretty cool with its giant dinosaurs. I don't know what the fuck this is, but whatever. And this, that's just a dungeon. That, that's just a dungly wungly. That's a dungeon. That's dungeon. That's dungeon. That's dungeon. All right. Guys, we got to talk about something for a second here. You might be wondering to yourself, Nixium, what are your two favorite races in World of Warcraft? Well, Billy, that is a very, very simple answer. My two favorite races are, number one, the Forsaken on the Horde, and number two, the Night Elves on the Alliance. And you know what? You know what they both share in common in Battle for Azeroth? They both get fucked over. What is this fucking heresy going on in my Tyrus Fall Glades. Was it something that I said, Blizzard? Is it all the criticism videos that I've been making where I've been, you know, talking about the game and what I think about it? Mike Morheim, were you were you watching my videos and you were like, that Nixium guy? Oh, I hate him so much. And I hate his stupid videos. L let's fuck over his two races just to piss him off. That is exactly what happened. And you know it to be true. Let's keep going. We got a picture of the Undercity. Just the Undercity. We got a picture of, <laughs> okay, snowy mountains. Yeah, we got more snowy mountains. Um, we got another island, fantastic. And we also have some more pictures of, of uh, whatchamacallit, Zandalar. Yeah, this is the desert area, the desert biome. And we also have this final picture of Zandalar. You can see the giant city down there. You can see that sort of creepy zone in the desert area. Looks like Blizzard still has some work to do and a number of the areas around the map but hey it's an alpha test so i'm sure that they don't have a lot you know they still got a lot of work to do but it's pretty cool a little zoom in on the city i like it now let us move over to wowhead.com and let us look at some new models motherfucking queen ajara finally we get to kill this chick and what the fuck is up with her hands good god oh i don't know if i like that like, her tentacles are really long. She doesn't have just one Naga tail, like most Naga. She has, like, like one, two... She has five. It's kind of creepy. I don't like that. 
Next, we have Jaina Proudmore with her new cool updated model. I, I will have to say that she looks just like that one chick from the new Disney movie. The one about the snow and the ice. Freeze, I think it was called. Yeah, you yeah, know, let it go. Whatever. All that crap. Let's keep going. Jaina again, but this time with a mysterious hood on. Next, we've got King Anduin looking like a dumb fucking gorilla. Look at him. He's huge. Look at that chin. His chin is even uglier than freaking King Varian's. I didn't even think that was possible. I don't like it. We have King Anduin's horse. Th this is clearly the king's horse. Th this is good. King Anduin has a good horse. I, I will give it a 10 out of 10. It's also got a braided tail. I like it. This better be an obtainable mount. We got an updated Gen Greymane model. I don't think it looks too different from the model that we already have. It might even be the same thing. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at him in a while. But, uh... <gasps> updated children. Blizzard? Blizzard. The children in World of Warcraft since day one have looked ugly as sin. This is nice. This is good. I want to see the little boy updated models. Yeah, I want to check them out. I want to see, like, the orc children. I want to see how ugly they're going to look. That's what I want to see. What the fuck is this supposed to be? It's probably just a new non-combat pet. That is clearly Troll King. The, 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 the king of the trolls. He wears a loincloth to hide his big sword. And that's it for the new models. Catch me around here, buzz. There's one more thing I want to show you guys. and Well, there's two more things I want to show you guys. If I can find it. Uh... This, right here. Factions. Battle for Azeroth. Dino training. Paradrax. Or, ter Teradax. Yeah. Remember in Mists of Pandaria when we trained the Cloud Serpent and we raised it from an egg all the way to a mount that we could ride? I loved that back in Mists of Pandaria. I thought that was incredibly creative on the whole daily quest front. And if they're bringing this back with a whole like flying dinosaur faction where we get to raise a dinosaur and clean up its poop and, and stuff and then ride around on it that's gonna be awesome now i'm gonna show you guys one more thing that i think is pretty cool but if you want to go read all of this stuff mmo-champion.com you have wowhead.com go check them out these guys do great work and if you're a fan of spoilers go check them out I want to show you guys this. You have the Fall of Lordaeron, the Siege of Lordaeron, and it's talking about, you know, if you're on the Horde side, what happens during the Fall of Lordaeron and the Siege of Lordaeron. But this one right here, the Stormwind Extraction. Apparently, at some point, if you are an Alliance player, you capture Sarfang, because this is clearly a Horde quest, because infiltrate Stormwind City, open the sewer access gate, infiltrate the stockades, Release Sarfang, the prisoners, escape Stormwind City, escape the cathedral, uh, get to Stormwind Harbor, and slay an admiral. So, at some point, there is going to be a badass scenario, similar to the uh, Battle for Undercity scenario back in Wrath of the Lich King, which was awesome, where we're going to fight over the Undercity, but then the fight or the scenario is going to like spill over into Stormwind a bit. And I think that's awesome. We, we've seen so much love and quests that revolve around Horde cities. So I really want to see a nice, crazy Stormwind city scenario where we're killing, uh, we're kind of sneaking through the city and getting stuff done. But yeah. And that's it, guys. That's what I wanted to show you today. Over the next several days, I'm sure that a lot more stuff is going to come out. Mounts, pets, spoiler images, boss information who knows what's going to come out the alpha is officially out we're going to get a lot of information and i will try to keep you guys up to date with the stuff that i think is interesting but again if you want to go read all this yourself mmochampion.com or wowhead you will see all their write-ups over there so thank you all for watching let me know what you think of what we've seen so far in the comments below and be sure to tell me about how much you hate blizzard for burning down teldrassil and destroying the undercity all right all right, I guess I'll see ya.